Hello everyone, welcome to Matt Fan's masking class. Let's get started. Option number two, the mask and mask method that you can only use when you have one channel that you need for the masking, the hard masking of your image. So I have lights to half copy there. What I'm doing now is the mask and mask method. So I stand on that luminosity mask channel. So I'm not creating a new alpha channel. I'm just standing on that. Now load selection and you load the same channel in itself. So mask and mask. You, so you load lights two and a half to adjust lights two and a half like this. So now I'm going to use this one because you see that over here. So I'm going to adjust the sky because we know that white reveals while black conceals. And so it's not pure black here in the sky. So I can use this mask to adjust itself. So I, I'm starting off with L4 selective adjustment. Okay, like this. Because I don't need to use this because there's already tonal value in there. So you see now that I'm already done. Okay, so this is even faster. So if I look here, So this is the result of the mask and mask method. If you pick the right luminosity mask with a figure that's as dark as possible, but just enough contrast. So basically this is the one that I'm using then. So let's have a look, closer look. So this is the, the feathered version. This is the one without feathering. So let's have an even closer look there. This before. See the jagged edge there, and now it's much softer. Okay, so zoomed in at 300%. So this is before, without the feathering. You see the jagged edge, and this with the feathering. It's much better. And that goes for the entire image. So let's have a look at the left hand side of the image. There, let's have a look. that's looking good it's a beautiful transition from from sky to to, to mountains just before it was already looking good but there's a little bit jagged over there and now it's much softer just have a closer look before after okay and here it's softer again because it represents this the the fog Covering the mountain part there, up to here. Uh, there I need to fix it a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to do just one. Oh, this should be good. Look at that. So that's the, uh, the entire mask. I truly hope that even though masking is a boring kind of activity compared to the more creative process in photography, I truly hope that you can also enjoy a little bit of it. Enjoy the, the craftsmanship of making good mass. So with these words, I would say, I hope you will join me again in the future and in future classes. Thank you very much.